Are you ready to witness the ultimate display of nature's power? Hold on to your seats because the largest volcano of all time has just cracked open the Earth. Scientists and experts are in a frenzy, trying to determine the potential impact of this unprecedented event. Will the volcano unleash a destructive force unlike anything we have ever seen before? Will it cause massive damage and loss of life in the surrounding areas? Or will it trigger a chain reaction that could alter the course of history forever? A year ago, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai submarine volcano, just north of Tonga's main island, erupted in massive fashion, sending a shockwave around the world from its South Pacific epicenter as it produced a plume of water and ash that soared higher into the atmosphere than any other on record, and triggering tsunami waves that ricocheted across the region, crashing into the archipelago, which is located southeast of Fiji. Tonga, an island nation, is still dealing with the aftermath of the damage to its coastal waters even after a year has passed. Coral reefs were reduced to rubble, and a significant number of fish either died or moved away. According to statistics from the World Bank for 2019, the natural disaster made conditions even more difficult for Tongans, more than 80% of whom already relied on subsistence reef fishing. Following the volcanic eruption, the government of Tonga announced that it would seek $240 million to fund recovery efforts, which would include enhancing food security. Immediately after the event, the World Bank provided a contribution of $8 million. Silent Reefs The ocean makes up the vast majority of Tongan territory, and the country's exclusive economic zone encompasses a water area that is approximately 270,271 square miles in size. Subsistence fishing is regarded as extremely important, despite the fact that commercial fisheries only contribute 2.3% to the national economy. The Tongan diet relies heavily on fish as a primary source of nutrition. According to a report published in November by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the country's fisheries and aquaculture sector suffered losses of approximately $7.4 million as a direct result of the eruption. This is a sizable amount considering the size of Tonga's economy, which is approximately $500 million. The majority of the losses were incurred as a result of damaged fishing vessels, with nearly half of those damages occurring in the sector of small-scale fisheries. However, some commercial vessels were also impacted by the storm. It is difficult to estimate the impact that the eruption will have on fish harvests due to the fact that the Tongan government does not keep close track of subsistence fishing. However, scientists believe that in addition to the possibility that certain fish stocks have been depleted, there are other concerning signs that indicate that it might be quite some time before fisheries fully recover. In the coastal waters around the eruption site, young corals are failing to mature, and many areas that were once home to healthy and abundant reefs are now barren, according to a survey that was conducted by the government in the month of August. Ash from volcanic eruptions almost certainly buried many reefs, depriving fish of their feeding grounds and spawning grounds. According to the findings of the survey, there was no marine life found anywhere near the volcano. At the same time, the tsunami that formed in the water surrounding the archipelago pushed large boulder corals over, which resulted in the formation of fields of coral rubble. Even though some reefs were spared, the healthy environment that was indicated by the crackling, snapping, and popping sounds of shrimp and fish searching for food is no longer present. A break for the farmers. Agriculture has proven to be a lifeline for Tongans in a time when their waters are drying up and their boats are being damaged. Food production has resumed with little impacts, said Siosua Halavatu, a soil scientist speaking on behalf of the Tongan government. This was in response to concerns that the volcanic ash, which covered 99% of the country, would make soils too toxic to grow crops. Analysis of the soil demonstrated that the ash that had fallen was not hazardous to human health. And despite the fact that yam and sweet potato plants died as a result of the eruption, and fruit trees were damaged by falling ash, both of these things started to recover after the ash was washed away. But monitoring over the long term will be essential, he said, and Tonga wants to help farmers by developing a national soil strategy and upgrading their soil testing laboratory. Water in the sky scientists are currently assessing the effects that the eruption has had on the atmosphere. When a volcano erupts on land, most of what is expelled is ash and sulfur dioxide. However, underwater volcanoes spew out a much greater volume of water. 
the eruption that took place in Tonga was similar to the others. The blast released 146 million tons of water into the atmosphere and produced a white grayish plume that reached a height of 57 kilometers. The presence of water vapor in the atmosphere can cause it to retain heat for up to a decade, which in turn contributes to an increase in the planet's average temperature. Ozone, which protects the planet from potentially damaging ultraviolet radiation, can be depleted when there is an increase in the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. Researchers estimate that the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano released enough water into the atmosphere on January 15 to fill the equivalent of more than 58,000 swimming pools of Olympic size. The powerful eruption of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano in Tonga injected an unprecedented amount of water directly into the stratosphere. NASA scientists predict that the water vapor will remain in the stratosphere for years and will likely have an effect on the weather patterns on Earth. This enormous amount of water vapor is equivalent to more than 58,000 swimming pools that are the size of the Olympic standard. It makes up about 10% of the typical amount of vapor that is found in the stratosphere. The erupting volcano caused gases and vapor to reach a new record height. The eruption that took place on January 15 originated from a volcano that is more than 12 miles wide and has a caldera that is approximately 500 feet below the surface of the water. Tongan officials reported that the volcano was in a continuous eruption a day earlier, sending a plume of steam and ash into the sky that was three miles wide and three miles high. Then came the massive explosion, which set a new record for the satellite era by propelling ash, gases, and vapor up to a height of 35 miles into the atmosphere. An astronaut aboard the International Space Station captured this photograph of the enormous plume that was produced by the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano one day after the powerful eruption by the volcano. Drone footage and other videos taken on that day show the massive scale of the explosion, which caused the volcano to release a plume into the atmosphere that was extraordinarily wide. The powerful eruption caused a pressure wave to travel around the Earth and resulted in a sonic boom that could be heard all the way in Alaska. It is likely the temperatures will rise as a result of the massive amount of water. Large volcanic eruptions in the past have had an impact on climate, but these eruptions typically have a cooling effect on temperatures because they release aerosols into the stratosphere that scatter light. These aerosols serve as a kind of thick layer of sun protection for the skin. However, given that water vapor acts as a heat trap, the researchers believe that the Tongan eruption might momentarily cause temperatures to rise slightly. Sulfate aerosols that are released into the atmosphere by volcanoes typically return to Earth after a period of two to three years. However, it may take between five and ten years for the water that was produced by the eruption on January 15 to completely disappear. The researchers said in their paper that Hunga Tonga Hunga may be the first volcanic eruption observed to impact climate not through surface cooling caused by volcanic sulfate aerosols, but rather through surface warming. Given that time frame and the extraordinary amount of water that was involved, this may be the first volcanic eruption observed to impact climate not through surface cooling caused by volcanic sulfate aerosols. According to NASA, the data used in the study came from an instrument called the Microwave Limb Sounder that is mounted on the Aura satellite. This instrument measures water vapor, ozone, aerosols, and gases in the atmosphere of Earth. The water in the stratosphere had their heartbeat disrupted when the volcano erupted. The eruption on January 15 significantly altered the annual water patterns in the stratosphere, which is the layer of the atmosphere that also contains the majority of the ozone. Researchers refer to the normal mechanism by which water ascends into the stratosphere as a kind of tape recorder because of how reliable it is in marking annual temperature cycles through alternating bands of dry and moist air rising from the tropics. The middle of the dry period in that seasonal cycle typically occurs in January. However, a volcano on the island of Tonga erupted in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, which abruptly injected a significant amount of water into the upper levels of the atmosphere. According to the researchers, Hunga Tonga Hunga has disrupted this heartbeat signal in the planet's normal atmospheric water pattern by short-circuiting the pathway through the cold point. They suggest keeping a close eye on the water that was produced by the volcanic eruption in order to both predict the effects it will have in the short term and gain a better understanding of how future eruptions may affect the climate of the planet. If the eruption of the Tonga volcano were to become more widespread, 
it has the potential to pose a significant threat to the surrounding area. In the event that the Tonga volcano was to completely erupt, there is a possibility that it would pose a significant risk to the environment and the populated areas that are located nearby. The level of danger would be determined by the scope and intensity of the eruption, both of which have the potential to be quite variable. The emission of ash and other volcanic particles into the atmosphere is considered to be one of the most significant risks that are associated with volcanic eruptions. These particles have the potential to cause respiratory issues as well as other health problems for humans and animals living in the affected areas. In addition, the ash can cause damage to crops and other vegetation, which can have long-term repercussions for the economy of the area as well as the availability of food. Lava and other volcanic materials can be released into the environment during volcanic eruptions, which presents another potential hazard. These materials have the potential to rapidly flow down the sides of the volcano, causing significant damage to anything that they come into contact with along the way. In addition, the heat from the lava can cause additional damage to structures such as buildings and other types of infrastructure as well as start fires. Tonga was to erupt. It could also cause earthquakes and tsunamis, both of which have the potential to cause additional destruction and loss of life. In addition, the eruption has the potential to cause long-term damage to the environment, which may include alterations to the climate and ecosystem of the area. Volcanic activity is notoriously difficult to forecast, making it difficult to determine with any degree of accuracy when or how a volcano will erupt. However, scientists and researchers are constantly monitoring the Tonga volcano along with other active volcanoes around the world in order to assist in the prediction of potential eruptions and to lessen the impact of those eruptions. If the volcano in Tonga were to erupt on a more significant scale, it has the potential to pose a significant risk to the surrounding area. The scale and intensity of the eruption, the surrounding geography and population density, as well as the preparedness of local authorities and emergency responders, are some of the factors that will determine the impact of the eruption. On the other hand, it is possible to lessen the severity of any potential damage caused by future eruptions by maintaining constant monitoring and preparation effort. To summarize, the Tonga volcano is an active volcano that is situated in the South Pacific and has the potential to pose a significant threat in the event that it was to erupt on a larger scale. It is difficult to determine with absolute certainty when and in what manner the volcano will erupt and the impact of the eruption will be contingent upon a number of different factors. On the other hand, it is possible to lessen the severity of any potential damage caused by future eruptions by maintaining constant monitoring and preparation effort. Thanks for watching this incredible event with us. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay safe. Subscribe for more informative content.